welcome my fellow participants in the spiritual evolution of mankind. Um, today's topic, oh yes, the influence of psychedelics on the spiritual quest. As you see here, I have my uh, collection of helpers that sometimes are called upon for the spiritual quest. And I will get into what this collection is in the next video. But in the first video, I wanted to explain to you, my interdimensional explorers, how um, LSD gave me my ego at 13 years old and almost resulted in my premature death. So the bottom of the line is what you must understand when embarking on psychedelic journeys to spiritual wealth and information is that the power behind the psychedelic lies in the spirit that the psychedelic possesses. You are entering communication with a plant spirit. And for this reason, chemical psychedelics can be very harmful. I'm going to explain to you my first experience on mushrooms, which happened about three months before I tried LSD. So I was a little, you know, young. I was in what, like, before high school. I was introduced to mushrooms at a very young age, and I ate these mushrooms, and they acted kind of as a playground play tool um, and really kind of you know just let me see cool animals and, and cool things talk to me and maybe I had some spirit communication let me rewind a little bit now um, I do not have any mind memories before 13 years of age. I was kind of a different child. I had a silent mind. I was not a thought ego-based was Forces were pushing and trying to domesticate me. Anyway, I had no guidance, wrongfully took mushrooms in a bad situation, and it left no harmful effects on my spirit or on my consciousness. Fast forward, and I was still before high school, still very young, and I was given LSD by my brother. During this LSD experience, my ego was born. And when I say ego, I mean that little voice in your head that talks to you and takes you away from the experience of life. You see, life is an experience. Life is meant to be experienced. And while we're experiencing, there is no reason to have a little voice in our head judging that experience and taking us outside of the experience we should be fully present in. So during this LSD trip, this little voice appeared in my head. And it started telling me things, and it started explaining things to me. And I said, oh wow, this voice my voice, this voice in my head is so amazing. This voice in my head can make me do so many things and can help me with so much stuff. The ego is very provoking. And this is a point about using psychedelics without the proper guidance and especially chemical psychedelics is because you are attaching yourself to another entity and if you do not have the proper guidance, you can go wayward. LSD is like getting on a bus without a driver. Um, you're on a bus without a driver, that's pretty freaking dangerous. That's really freaking dangerous. If you don't have a shaman guiding you, I mean, you're, at the, you're in danger zone. So be careful. At your own risk, get on that bus that has the invisible driver taking you where you have no idea where you're going to go. And I have to explain how this almost killed me because I was a content child without many 
desires and personal infatuations and social predicaments. Any of this, this was, I think I was in eighth grade. And none of this, but I didn't have a, you know, I didn't have a girlfriend. I wasn't really concerned in girls. I wasn't concerned in the social hierarchy of middle school. I wasn't really concerned with a lot of these illusionary domestication tactics that are used upon our children in our school systems to mass produce factory workers to support a giant corporate system of abuse, environmental, social, and conscious abuse. And um, LSD gave me the ego that their system could not give me because of the people who were on that bus that had no driver with me when we took that collective experience because it will connect you with other minds and it will make a collective experience. This is what psychedelics help with. They help us develop the one mind, the one consciousness. Mushrooms in the same experience with the same people protected me because the mushroom spirit guided me slightly into this little fancy fairy playground. And um, the other people's egos, perceptions of realities were intertwined with this mushroom species that understood me better than, than, than I did and knew not to affect me with that. However, the LSD did not have the spirit. The LSD is almost completely created its spirit from human influence and extracted from human energies. So, in this group, of unprepared individuals, I received the download of the ego. And I received that from connecting myself on this other state of consciousness with the LSD. And sure, at first the ego was okay, no problem. I um, could Thought, I thought a lot more about social issues. I started thinking about girls. I started wondering about the hierarchies in schools. I started trying to be more proactive. Then I started thinking maybe I could change the world. And then I started doing all these thinking thought things that took me out of the experiences of life and the experience experiencing things. And then I was just in this thought experience and doing, ah, oh, I can do this, I can do that, wow. And then all of a sudden, uh, my thoughts started driving my desires on how I should act instead of just following the will of, shall we say, a higher consciousness or whatever life was presenting to me. So I started, you know, searching and, and then I thought, wow, this, this voice in my head, can, I can write good things, maybe I'll write books and songs and... These books and songs will change the world. And um, time went on and I, I advanced with, with these, you know, ego thoughts of how I could do this and I will do that and, and, you know, how great I will be when I do this and how great it will be when I do that and I, 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 ego, ego, ego. And what happened was I tried and I failed. And this is where the ego really gets busy because when you fail, then it comes back around and it says, look what I did. I failed. I'm a failure. And then it starts focusing on that and it gets people down and down and down until people are so afraid to actually do what they truly believe and want to do that they get stuck for living in this thought ego mind and avoiding everything that they want and taking the safe, easy path that has been outlined for them by this manipulating, uh, domineering um, world organization of material wealth. Uh, you don't want that. So as far as psychedelics go, you got to be careful because there's a whole lot of human misery and human ignorance out there in the collective consciousness. That's what we're trying to change. Um, LSD can connect you with a whole lot of misery, a whole lot of um, ignorance, but without the guidance to let you know how to let go of it, dissimilate it into its natural, just pure energy form, 
and rebirth it as something positive. No, it will maybe just screw your whole head up like it did to me when I was a little boy. Uh, when we get back into this second video of my descriptions on the psychedelic reality, I will explain to you my choice psychedelics 